So, start this. Vacation stories, awesome. That's our topic for today. So, let's see. Do you have any vacation stories? Well, when I went to Tennessee for a week, uh, one of the things that was we went to a lake, we had two boats, which we didn't need two boats, but we got two boats, um, and there was a jet ski okay. that my mother decided to drive. Oh, was this when she lost her sunglasses? Yes, this was when she lost her sunglasses. So you're riding around, and uh, I lost my hat, and we went over to, we lost my hat in the water, and we went over to just try and turn and grab it. Okay. But then, uh, it turned a little too far, and I started to fall off, and I grabbed her, and she held onto the handle, and we tipped the whole jet ski over. Oh my gosh. We were stuck in the water for a little bit, but luckily, uh, her cousin Johnny came over and flipped it over. What does the underside of a jet ski look like? I'm just curious. It's just like a flat, it's like a black, like, flat surface. Oh, so how does it drive then? How does it go on the water? It's not flat, but like, it's just smooth, and it's got a motor, like, at the back, and it Oh, okay. So, that's that's good. At least it's safe then. I mean, if, if it lands on you, it's still not good, but <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's at least not gonna shred you. Mm, yeah. Well, the motor is, like, it's the really small, like, the actual, like, propeller part. Okay. So, it's not like a suck you in. It stops when you let go of it. Okay. Yeah, like the motor's inside, so it's not like it gets suck you in and shreds you up. <laughs> like a um, like a wood chipper, it just drags you in. Yeah. So well, that's cool. All right. So let's see. I got stories for days here. I went to what well, last year. I actually during the summer I went to Florida. For a um, like this was a week before we went on a cruise, so we went to Disney World and um, Universal Studios. So when we were there, it was basically first off, Disney World was freaking awesome. It it was, you know, as a kid I wanted to go, but then we were yeah, we never been there in nine years, but still, yeah. You haven't been there in nine years? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Last time I went to Florida, I went to Universal Studios. Oh, when was that? Uh, about two years ago. Okay. Well, uh, when I was, you know, like I, like I said, I was when I was a child, I wanted to go, but you know, we couldn't. So, I, I sort of, my brain sort of just ditched that idea. I was like, well, for dead entries, we're just never gonna get to go. So when we went there, I was, you know, thinking, oh yeah, we're just going because we wanted to see the castle, and that was it. We. You know, because you can see the castle from the outside the gates. And so I was like, okay, so we got to the front gates. And then my parents were like, whip out the tickets to get inside. And I, my, my jaw just dropped. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> we got tickets. We <laughs> got tickets to go to a castle? Yeah, yeah we got to see uh, Magic Kingdom. <laughs> uh, I never went... To the kingdom, I just walked past the castle. Look at the castle. Yeah, it turns out though, when you're at the front gate, you can barely see the castle. You actually have to go inside to see a better view of the castle. <laughs> but I mean, if you're farther away. Last time I went to um, Disney World, my mother lied to me about the definition of a word. <laughs> what was the word? Uh, we went to the Tower of Terror, which is based on the Twilight Zone. Yeah. It's just one of those elevator rides. And I asked my mother, what does terror mean? She told me it meant fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So I was like, the tower of fun. Well, you know, it would it would make more sense if it said that because it's, you know, it's Disney World, so. Well, I know, but if she, I think if she told me, it was like, 
what well, her thought process was, was like, if I tell him to be scary, he's not gonna want to ride it. That's that's true. I mean, <laughs> just start running away after this. After he says, "Keep in mind, I was very young, so it's just like I and I like nothing horror, just nothing horror." Oh, yeah. Like freak out. It's like you know, you get a paper cut, you immediately just start freaking out. You faint. You just have a heart attack, like right there. I faint when I get a paper cut nowadays. Like here's the thing: if I get, a, I had a paper cut in the back of my hand one time. Oh jeez. Like. It didn't hurt, actually. It's <laughs> It's like, it didn't hurt. In fact, it felt good. You know, here's the thing. I heard I got one, like, in the webbing between my, my freaking oh, uh, really? thumb and finger. Yeah. Oh, it hurt like a mother bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I can bleep that out. <laughs> the point is, it hurt. <laughs> but, like, if I get a paper cut on the back of my hand, it, hurt, it wasn't fine. But, like, I get one... Because of the way I flip pages, I get paper cuts and webbings on my finger more. Yeah, that 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 must hurt because you know you stretch your fingers out more than anything, so it's gonna reopen that right. cut. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like you just move your thumb all the time. But it's but like also like if you rub it because there's so much friction uh, happening in that area. Friction's not the right word, I don't think, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Exactly. Screw the dictionary. What do they know? Words it just sounds good. <laughs> Or what? Or or what other teens say? Word. <laughs> Word or woes. Woes, yeah. <laughs> Kids trying to waste less oxygen nowadays. Like people say, my B instead of my bad. Mm-hmm. It's because they think that the ozone is breaking. <laughs> so they got it. They can't suck in all that air. They gotta be like sparing. Hey, I, dude, I figured out how to cure global warming. Everyone, get in your car. Turn on your air conditioning at once. <laughs> There you go. We 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 cool down the earth in a global effort. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. But oh, that's a great idea. Let's do, it's like let's do it. Let's do it. Crowdfunder. I'm surprised. I was half expecting you to say the solution to global warming is everyone should kill themselves. <laughs> what? Because like they're always like, oh, humans are so bad, and oh, humans are causing this problem, and oh, humans and what's employ Thanos? And yeah, let's employ the Thanos movement. Yeah. Oh wait. Check you see, when they say when they say communism, it's Thanos, but two times better. Communism, but Thanos two times better. Yeah. I mean, yeah, communism. It's two times better because everyone's equally dead. 50 <laughs> 50. People are alive, people are dead. But when it's 100 100. 100 100. No, Thanos only snaps 50%. Remember, he only wanted to kill 50%. That's why I said it was like him, but two times better. <laughs> So, yeah, it's like, like, back to the paper cut thing, it's like, you know, you get a paper cut in your hand, and you're like, yeah, this didn't hurt at all, in fact, it felt really good. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not that I felt really good, it's just, like, I didn't even know that I had a paper cut until I was like, oh, look, a paper cut, because, like, when you get a webbing, when you get the one between the webbing, you know, you feel that paper cut. Oh, yeah, you're gonna feel that for, like, a week. Oh, yeah. But, dude. Yeah, like, you get one there. Like on the back of your hand, it's just like, oh, paper cut. Yeah, it's it's like then like this might sound weird, but sometimes I would wake up and I would have like a random cut on my arm or some on my hand or something like that, and I'd be like, what the heck is this doing here? Mm. Yes, yeah, same. It's I remember one time I was gay. I was making this was like years and years ago back when I lived in Indiana. Oh okay. I was making one of those lunchable things, you know, the pizzas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I had one. I had some red stuff on my finger. And I thought it was uh, sauce. Oh no! I got it. Turns out it was blood. <laughs> Gee, great twist there. <laughs> Turns out I had cut my finger. With what? I don't know. How. I don't know. Jeez. It just was cut, and it hurt for like a day. Then it like went away. It's, it's a twenty-four hour cut. <laughs> It's like the inverse of thinking it's blood when it's ketchup. It's like thinking it's ketchup but it's blood. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, oh, is that ketchup? It's like, uh... Yeah, it's like my first instinct was I put it in, I was like, oh, it's just sauce, so I put it in my mouth, but I sucked it off, I'm like, mm, some funny tasting sauce, and it didn't go away. <laughs> Jeez. So, it's like, yeah... <laughs> yeah I'm definitely not a vampire. Blood does not taste good. No, it, it kind of, you know the scent of, like, dirty pennies? Yeah, it tastes like a dirty penny. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> Put a in your mouth? Everybody. It's like someone asks you, "Have you ever put a penny in your mouth?" You're like, "No, I'm not a heathen." <laughs> I'm not a heathen. <laughs> I was when I was three, though. <laughs> oh. Man, such different times since then. It's weird. It's weird what happens when you're not three. Then you look back and you're like, "I was such a moron back then." Well, you look back at every age and you think you're a moron. Kinda, yeah. There are people that like they hit their tw they hit their twenties and they look back at their teenage years and like what was I thinking? And they like they look back and even when they hit their thirties they look back at their twenties like I was such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, why didn't I like, buy that Ferrari? <laughs> yeah, why didn't I buy that Ferrari, man? Why didn't I buy that poncho and take a trip to Mexico? <laughs> Jeez, it's like what are you Spanish? Why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> Because, I mean, that's how they say it in Mexico. It's like, it's okay, man, I'm just trying to be culturally appropriate. <laughs> Mexican, it's funny, there's this, I remember I was playing Red Dead 2, and one of your Mexican guys, he's like, man, the English language is so weird, why do they say words that, why do they make sounds that are not there? <laughs> because we like to make like things invisible. <laughs> he's like, that thing, but, no, he, no, because, like, you know, he says Mex Mexico, but... Uh, everyone else in camp says Mexico. Why are you all cross line? <laughs> why, why? What is it with these two? What is it? Why? What are you? Why are you could get compelled to say this cross? It has no sound. It's Mexico. <laughs> say it correctly. That, that's actually another thing too. There's a guy. One of the main villains of the game. His name is uh, Colm O'Driscoll, but that's not how you say it. It's C O L M. Okay. And it's actually pronounced Colm. Almost everyone in the game consistently says Colm, including Colm himself. Like, you get, you actually uh, end up kidnapping one of the guys from his gang, and he becomes a member of your gang, and he's telling a story to your Irish fellow. Dear yeah, goodness. In your gang, and he's like, he lacks Colm, what can I say? And then, uh, your Irish guy, his name's Sean, by the way. Okay, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, the, the mo could you get any more Irish than Sean? <laughs> yeah. We're <laughs> just like the most Irish name. Dude, you know, like, you know the name, you know that... He wants to call him. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, well, he likes calm when he gets up to your guy. He goes, and you like breathing, so say it properly. <laughs> it's call him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, alright, it's call him. It's like, good boy. <laughs> just pats him on the head. <laughs> Dude, I'm I, I'm really thinking that the show Sean the Sheep is takes place in Ireland because what other name for a sheep than Sean? Well, no, you gotta spell it a particular way because Sean spells it S H A U N. Sean the Irish way is S E A N. Oh yeah, like Sean Bean. Yeah, like Sean Bean, Sean Connery, who's Scottish. <laughs> Sean, um, other people named Sean. <laughs> Sean. So many Sean's. Jack Septicai's real name is Sean. Yeah, it's like that's a popular name in Ireland, apparently. It's like the most popular name for boys. Apparently. And, okay, so now that let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna segue us out of this uh, mud pit we've walked ourselves into. It's mud pit paper cuts and Irish people. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna segue us back to the uh, store, the actual topic. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. So. When I was um, down in Florida, we went in. Like I said, we went to Disney World, and like I said again, it was freaking awesome. And one of the um, after that, we went to um, the next day. I think it was we went to Universal Studios, or it was I think Lake Eola that's nearby. Oh. What? It's two amusement parks in your trip to Florida? Yeah, in one week we actually went there. But the the crazy part is is like I think two days after Magic Kingdom. We went to uh, Hollywood Studios, and now keep in mind when I was at Magic Kingdom, I looked at the card they gave that my parents gave me, and it said on the back a two-day pass. And I was like asking my mom, I was like, "Wait, why does it say two-day pass on here?" Because I was completely shocked at this whole trip, so I was I didn't know anything about it. 
So, I was like, wait, why does it say two days? And she was like, don't worry about it. And I was, I was just, like, confused. I was like, huh? And then we went, when we got to Universal Studios, I was, like, gullible as heck. So, I was like, yeah, we're not going to go in. My mom already told me that we were not going to go in. And, and then we get up to the gates. And they pull out the cards, and I'm like, dang it. I was like, I feel like such an idiot. Now it's just don't worry about this two day pass. <laughs> inconspicuous. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. It's inconspicuous two day pass on that. Yeah, it's okay, we're not gonna use the other two days. So when we were in um Universal I mean not Universal, um Hollywood Studios, the second we walk into the gates, everyone walk like you know the new Toy Story land they have there? Mm-hmm. Everyone runs to that area, and we're like, well, what do we do? So, what we do is, you know, we, f we go to the other, I think, I think it was the other rides first. And, so, then after, you know, we go on the Tower of Terror, like, twice. That was, that was a fun experience, because I've never had that experience before, being weightless. So, I mean, it's true, yeah, I, I was completely, like, feeling weightless, and I, and I don't like that feeling, because my stomach... My stomach tends to bottom out, yes. and I'm like, I feel like dying almost on that ride. Because you're, you're used to gravity. Yeah, gravity sort of, you know, becomes a, a big thing during that ride. And or the lack thereof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so while while that happened, I was like, okay, this is interesting, and let's see, I have my photos up, and okay, okay, I was wrong about Tower of Terror. We actually went to um, the Toy Story Mania, which is basically a 3D pie shooting game, like a, a practice game. <laughs> that game's on the Wii as well. Yeah, it's that's so much more than pie throwing. Well, yeah, that's true. You got to break plates and stuff like that. But it's also like 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how they only now incorporate it into a ride. <laughs> It's like great. A ten year old, a ten year old Wii game. Just like we should make this a ride. We'll make billions of dollars. If Doctor Doctor Evil goes evil. Evil. Yeah, it's, I think I've played that game honestly on like an app or something like that. It was it's weird, but you would do it as a gift for like Christmas or something. Oh. And it was like I want to play as Woody and Buzz. You just play as like. A colored cursor. A cursor? Well, because, like, it's a weak game. You gotta point, point at the screen. You look. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be that little mouse icon, don't you? There is another uh, Toy Story game I got. Toy Story 3, the game, where you could play as Woody, Buzz, or Jesse. Oh! That's cool. Well, in the toy box, in the story mode, you're forced to play as a certain character. <laughs> you should play as Sean Bean. Sean Bean! <laughs> Who will die because it is in Sean Bean's contract and he must die in every role he plays. Does he really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Dear goodness. Uh, I mean, Boromir, he dies. Double uh, O Six, he dies. Well, hang on. Uh, just, just a spoiler alert for ever, for people that are listening. So. Yeah, Sean Boromir dies in the first movie of three. <laughs> yeah. Double O Six dies. Double O Six. Yeah, it's in Goldeneye. I thought it was Double O Seven. No, he's Double O Seven's partner, who becomes evil. Oh, that's of course he does. You know. Yeah. Well, he supposedly, quote unquote, supposedly dies at the beginning of the movie. Oh, oh wait, hang on a second. He doesn't die in the Martian movie. Oh. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, how how old is that movie? Uh, I think it came out in like 2016, 2015, maybe. Let me All look right, it up. So that doesn't count. <laughs> that was after his contract ended. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a joke. I don't think he has a contract that he's supposed to die in every role he's in. The Martian, let's That's see. A pretty ridiculous contract. It came out in 2015. Uh, it had, um, uh, let's see. It, it's a fake contract. It had Matt Damon in it. Matt Damon? Yeah, he's. I love Matt Damon. <laughs> it's like yes, man. <laughs> I love him. He's yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah. It's like Sean Bean and George Clooney <laughs> and Matt Damon. I love him. <laughs> Forget George Clooney. We want Matt Damon. 
<laughs> Alright, anyway, back to our topic. <laughs> yes, so your adventures of Disneyland. <laughs> well, hey, it's not that boring. I know, but still, you said Sean Bean, and we got into this contract about Sean Bean. Yeah. Conversation about Sean Bean, how he dies, and we start talking about how much I love Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, that was like for five seconds though. So, um, but whatever. <laughs> Forget it. It's, it's so when we when we were at the um, basically we were the first people to go to the Toy Story Mania ride because everyone was at the Slinky Dog ride. <laughs> I'm serious, everyone was there. We got to walk right through an empty line. It was great. And 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 then after that we went on the Tower of Terror twice. And then we went to the um rock and roller coaster by Aerosmith. Aerosmith? It's Aerosmith, you fuck Oh sorry. <laughs> I guess you got You got excited, that's okay. More stuff to bleep out, but <laughs> you seriously just said Aerosmith. Well that's how I pronounce it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Arrow. Okay, well, if you want to spell arrow, you might want to spell it with two R's and a W. Fun fact about that Aerosmith ride. That was actually Aerosmith. Their, their first choice for that ride was um, the Rolling Stones, but the Rolling Stones declined. And they wanted people, they wanted, like, Kiss and, and even other bands like... I don't think I would have ridden it if it was Kiss. Kiss. I would have. Kiss, they wanted, like, Black Sabbath or Who. Or even people like freaking Steve Miller, and they all were like, "No." And then they were like, hey, "Aerosmith, you're like our last choice. You want to make a want a ride made off you?" And they were like, "Hell yeah!" Yeah, dude, it's like it's it's like they get the guys from the Take on Me music video. Uh huh. Yeah, by yeah, uh huh. They're like, "We want a ride for for Disney World." And they're like, "Yeah," and it's just it's just a calm, slow moving ride for like two year olds. <laughs> it's, it's like at the end at the end of each note it like the car jerks to the like the left or right <laughs> Take. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. you get like you about your ride. <laughs> yeah um sorry, <laughs> sorry i forgot i'm a heathen um <laughs> um said you weren't why you don't eat pennies. Oh, that's sorry, that's right. Um what's what's it called? Uh it's it's something else. I'll put it on the screen when I edit. <laughs> um anyway, so I was in the ride and the first time I got on the ride, I swear I think I got a concussion. Because what happened? have you ever been on the ride? No, never been to Hollywood Studios. Okay, well when if you ever go, go on the um Aerosmith ride and <laughs> And try out the um, try out the ride because what happens is you get in these cars that are like that look like limo cars, and and like next to each of your ears are speakers, and there's a guy that's yelling three, two, one, and then like it shoots you into a tunnel, and I'm like uh. Okay, and then throughout the entire ride, what happens is there's so many jerks back and forth, and <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is certain, because, like, my head was getting banged back and forth, because I don't fit in the seat, like, at all. I mean, the only thing that fits is the handlebar, which thankfully kept me in there, because there was an upside-down loop. So, <laughs> so that was, that was fun when my head got banged back and forth. After I got off the ride, I was dazed for about three minutes. Like, where the heck am I? <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Where am I? Hey, sir, do you work here? Can you please tell me where I am? <laughs> Maybe that's why you called it Aerosmith, because you had a concussion, you read it as Aerosmith. <laughs> Probably. So, sorry, I, I read your name wrong because I have a concussion. Well, now that gives you an excuse as opposed to being an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. It does give me an excuse. Anyways, so this concussion. Yeah, that was, and then I got on the ride again, and I learned. I learned my lesson from the last time I was on, and I was like, okay, so this time I'm gonna really hold my head back. So I like 
literally like force my head against the seat and thankfully but this time it was a lot less of banging my head more or less just me hurting the back of my skull by pushing hard so that was fun and then after that we went to the slinky ride which took about an hour but i did see a popular youtuber there so that was fun who was it? Uh, I think it was like the F FGT verse or something like that. FGT verse. Let me look these people up. I think it's like I mean, I'll type it in chat. Uh, FGT. Just try try typing that in. You know, one thing. Speaking of popular YouTubers, uh, me and mother went to um, uh, Price Right. And price near, right? Uh, yeah, there's price right near us. Where's that? Yeah, well, what is that? It's a store. It's a store. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Dang, these guys have 11 million subscribers, and you saw them at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, and this kid behind us, he was freaking out of a really. He's like, I can't believe they're here. And I'm thinking, I know what he's thinking right now. He's probably thinking, you know, why are they at a amusement park? They probably should be all busy making videos, because that's how I thought originally when I saw YouTube. And YouTubers, I'm like, that's probably there all they do. Guy, there was a guy I knew who, um, I forget who it was. I think it was like a friend of my mother's, but he told a story about how he was at a, he was at a Disneyland. A Di you know the shop part of Disney World? You just did a bunch of shopping. Yeah, basically, yeah. But he was wearing a weird doll shirt and he was going around. And um, one time he was in line for something, and he uh, he turned around. And Weird Al was behind him. Really? <laughs> yeah, and he got, and he was like, and he was like, hung out with him, and he had his like stuff signed. It was great. He signed my groceries, man. He signed my groceries, and also the shirt of you that I'm conveniently wearing at this moment in time that I met you. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was just like, because at that point, because like Weird Al just being in public, it's like, oh, cool, because I remember, I forget what Comic Con it was. Like what year it was, but he was uh, one of the headline guests, and there's a, a big there's a, one of the state. And I went there, and the stadium they use for like hockey games, they use for like the headline guests. Yeah. And they were all standing out, and you're not allowed. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. You're not supposed to take pictures of them. Who were they again? Most of them were just out. What? Who were they again? They're just celebrities. Oh. Okay. Headline or celebrities. So. Okay. And um. You, you know the press; they don't listen. Yeah, um, Al was back in, but most of them were, like, out at, like, a stand. They were there to, um... To talk? Yeah, just to talk and, you know, meet people in line. Weird Al was behind, like, hidden away. Like, you couldn't see him unless you actually waited in line. I mean, there is a reason he's called Weird Al, so... You bought a ticket and waited in line to go into, like, his booth area where you could meet him and get his hand, shake his hand and talk to him and get your stuff signed by him, but yeah, you couldn't, but he didn't, like, he knew people would take pictures of him otherwise. Yeah, he's smart. Why? Stalkers. <laughs> One word, sir. Well, Stalkers. Funny. He's actually, like, really smart, like, he's got, he got, like, degrees in college, and he was, like, super, uh, educated and such, but he became a freaking parody musician. Yeah. I mean, he's freaking popular for it. I mean, yeah, sure. He's great Zombieland at it, too. Zombieland 2 is coming out. What? Zombieland 2. Oh, yeah, I saw the trailer for that. I'm watching the trailer now. Woody Harrelson is back. I mean, he should be. And the same guy from the uh, the, the, social, the social network movie. I know him more for Zombieland, to be honest. But hold on. I haven't, I haven't even seen Zombieland 1. Zombieland 1 is classic. Well, I guess I'll have to watch it. I have Hulu, so... Academy Award nominee. So both Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg are Academy Award nominees. Okay. And apparently, Abigail Breslin is also an Academy Award nominee. An Academy Award winner and a stone. Alright, let's be honest. Emma Stone really deserve an Academy Award more than people like Woody Harrelson? I think not. I forget who Emma Stone is. Hang on a second. <laughs> exactly. You don't even know who she is. Let me see. Uh, Emma oh. Stone is that really hot girl? Yeah, really yeah you cute. say that. You you say that, and I don't even know who the frick she is. 
What was she? In? What movie was she in? I can't. I don't. See, oh, she was in the Amazing Spider-Man. That's why I don't remember her. <laughs> yeah, I hated her so much I had to remove her from my memory. I did a memory purge. I just had to, like, you know, the the, the um the Men in Black thing. Yeah. I did that to myself after watching the movie. <laughs> you just like stare at a light bulb that's on you, like I have been memory wiped. Oh, I feel so good to not remember that awful movie. What's the name of it again? I can't remember. Your friend tells you, and you're like, your friend tells you, and you're like, dang it, I gotta start the bulb again. Damn it! And then you like scan your eyes again. Yeah. Oh, Emma Stone played as Gwen. St I thought that was Anna Faris, to be honest. I don't even know what Anna Faris looks like. Uh, she was Chris Pratt's uh, ex-wife. <laughs> you think I keep track of Chris Pratt's love life? No, I don't either. I just know that he's married to Catherine Schwarzenegger. Uh, yes, she's he's ma he's now ma I knew that he's now married to Catherine Schwarzenegger. Dude, you know that must have been great. The first family dinner, he was like st sitting across from Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's just like, "Hi." <laughs> was that actually the thing that happened? I don't know, but that I could just imagine it. He's like nervous. Imagine Arnold is now your father-in-law. <laughs> it's like try not to piss him off. He's just gonna hurt. He's gonna pummel you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, he just he piss him off. I'll be back. He kid drives his car right into your house. <laughs> he just destroys you. <laughs> like at the dinner, like ramps it only in the Chris Brown, like destroys the table, and it's like, like, like um, Catherine is just like, it is so nice to have a family dinner. He's <laughs> just crying and eating her salad. It's so nice to have the whole family together again. Dude, it, 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 it's free. <laughs> it's the same thing with me and Amazing Spider-Man. Why? Why would they do such a thing? What? They're making a seventh season of Mom. I never even watched that show. I never even cared about it. I just know her from the What Would You Do For, for a Klondike Bar. I'm watching this review. I love Mom, and in comparison to more recent episodes of The Big Bang Theory, it actually makes me laugh out loud. The Big, the episode of the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is actually uh, canceled. Yeah, I know that. I'm so sad. It was a good show. Okay. What? It... I'm gonna have to segue us back again because we kind of broke our previous segue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just commit the eighth deadly sin? What was that? You like the Big Bang Theory? Is that wrong? <laughs> Big Bang Theory is the stupidest show. All right, I'm gonna bleep that from the video then. <laughs> yeah, just like that whole bit. I feel like I love the Big Bang Theory. You just hear. No, it's not. You're not gonna hear anything. It's just gonna cut to the next scene. Yes, it should. All right, so now I'm gonna segue us back into this previous into. Uh, it got canceled. You wanna know why it got canceled? Cause Jim Parsons left. He did. Mhm. Mm he wanted to move on to bigger things, <laughs> bigger and better things. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm gonna segue us back because currently our previous segue broke because you. I think you smashed it with a hammer. <laughs> the hammer of conversation. I also. Um, started watching Zombieland 2 trailer. Oh, yeah, that too. So, do you have any uh, more stories, or am I going to have to continue with Disney World? Well, there's a story with the boat. That's it? Uh, involving the boat. I, I'll tell it because it's kind of funny and sad. Um, well, my cousin, Luke... Or Lucas, but I'll call him Luke for the convenience of the video. Um, he was um, we were we were going rafting, and um, on this boat, and we had to return the other boat because the two one of the two boats, uh, the freaking his father owns, and and um, <laughs> basically, what am I thinking? I don't know, what are you thinking? We were riding, we were rafting back home, back to the shore, I should say, and uh, we stopped for a little bit because we had to slow down to put the boat on the truck, and Luke did not want to get off, so he pushed the raft underwater, so I fell off. Oh my gosh. And, um, 
I was lucky enough to grab to grab the very very um edge bit I could grab of the raft, okay. the zip thing, and I was pulled all the way back to the shore, and I was like, oh thank God. Uh, Luke, on the other hand, was not as fortunate, and he fell off. And Johnny told me, which is his father, he said he wanted to, he wanted to be out there. He could swim back. Jeez. <laughs> so this little like eleven year old kid <laughs> just being forced to swim all the way back to shore within just, like twenty you, minutes. You just see a fin pop out of the water. And you're like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you You start hearing. Dun. It's like oh. <laughs> so, nice knowing you, Jimmy. You want to buy a coffin there? Your son's about to get eaten. He's like already done. Yeah. It's like already done. Did that five years ago. Right. And his mother was also like, "Yeah, let him, let him swim." <laughs> At some point, like I couldn't see him because like the sun, it was start, the sun was starting to set. It was shining in the water, so I couldn't see him. I was okay. like, "Hey, you still alive?" He's like, "What?" <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, at least he can hear me. He hear me. Yeah. Dude. Yep, that was fun. And he swam back eventually, and he was just like, Dude. <laughs> Dude, what the? No, he was like, Why? He was talking to his mother, like, Why? Just like you give him that face that's like, Why would you do this to me? Yeah, exactly. If I, if, if I wasn't. So if I did, and I was starting to slip too towards the end of like holding on to that thing, when I held on, it's like, man, if I didn't, if I wasn't fortunate enough to grab on for you, did, I would have had to swim back with you. Yeah. But actually, no, it would have been just me because I would have, I would have very quickly drowned you. <laughs> would very quickly drowned you underwater and then swam back, and they would have asked, what happened, to Lucas? So don't feel like, oh. Uh, he was so small. He lost so much weight that he slipped out of his vest and he sank. <laughs> That's a great story for your murder. <laughs> no murder took place. No, I. No uh, butterflies were harmed in the making of this film. I condemn the killing of any person. So I, no comment. Person, unless that person is evil. Take. Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, as people that are evil and their murders. Actually, no, Hitler killed himself. Okay, Hitler murdered himself, and Stalin died of a seizure, so neither of them were murdered, but still. <laughs> Wait, he died of a seizure? Yeah, Stalin died of a seizure, and Hitler killed himself. Too many potatoes, I guess. <laughs> Too many potatoes? <laughs> Just, do potatoes give you seizures? I, I don't know. Mm. Hang on, I gotta look this up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does eating too many potatoes give you a seizure? Because Joseph Stalin died of a seizure. I am paranoid now. <laughs> Just like the FBI is watching. Oh, he was also pretty old. I'm pretty sure. The FBI is watching your search history. He's like, why would he look that up? <laughs> He's been watching the movie The Martian too much, man. The guy in the movie had to freaking eat potatoes, grown from his own crap. Well, yeah, well, you can actually use, if you use poop properly, you can use it as good fertilizer. Oh, well, my phone shut off. That's nice. Hold on. Because eating too many potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. Uh, give you, I don't think so. There was a guy who ate nothing but potatoes. Um, that supersized me, dude. For, he ate a he ate nothing but potatoes for sixty days. Did he get in nutrition epilepsy society? Here we go. Just look up side effects of eating too many potatoes. All right, here we go. It just it made people worse. Seizures, side effects of eating too many. Potatoes. How many times a week can we eat potatoes and still be healthy? By Linda Carroll. Well, some guy broke that rule. <laughs> Intriguingly, researchers found no increase in hypertension related to consumption 
We apologize, this video has expired. While noting that it's very hard to link a specific food and condition as hypertension, Matt Bolden said, This group from Boston is one of the best, and they've got a great data set. Four grams of fiber, hold on, still molding. He said, Eating potatoes every day is probably not a good choice. This study is a reminder that red meat isn't a good stable to build meals around, neither is white flour bread, pasta, or potatoes. If you fail to prioritize fresh products, you'll end up where you are, which is fat. Wow. Isn't like 60% of America like in a obese ep obesity epidemic? I don't think it's like 60, I think it's like 59. <laughs> Close second. I don't think it's quite 60, but I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty substantial. I mean, look it up. I mean, <laughs> fine. <laughs> anyway, so another story I have. I once went to a lake that is right next to a nuclear reactor. That sounds safe. No, it's it's a country it has a country club near it, and it was it was like a there was a boating club as well. So it, like a lot of people used it, and yeah, boating club, not swimming club. <laughs> no, no, no. People swam in the lake. Well, those people are now, um, Gojira. Well, you're talking to a Gojira, I guess. For their part-time job. <laughs> for, for a part-time job, they play Gojira. True. What? Yes. And... <laughs> <laughs> they can, they gain the supernatural ability to grow in size. No, I, I got in the water, and, like, it was surprisingly warm, and I was like, okay, be probably because it's, it was used as a coolant for the reactor. And I was like very worried that there was a, it was used for a nuclear reactor. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm like, water isn't just naturally warm like this. And so that was that was fun. <laughs> Realizing that I might become Gojira. I mean, I don't know if this is related or not to the um, to me getting in the water or not. But after that, I had like um, red spots on my leg. Uh, on my on, yeah, like a rash. It was like a rash on my, but it didn't itch. That was the weirdest thing. It didn't itch at all. And I went to the when we went to the doctors, they said that it was just like a a bacterial thing. And I'm thinking, I wonder where the bacteria came from. <laughs> Could possibly be that uh, uh you know that special uh, water that uh it was next to a freaking nuclear reactor. It's like, gee, am I gonna grow a third leg here? <laughs> It's like that. It's like the fish from The Simpsons. They grow a third eye. I wish you know if I was to grow a third limb, I'd grow a third arm. You wanna know why? Cause why? All the things you could do as a third arm. Dude, I count my ear as a third arm. Why? Because I can hold my pencil with my ear. You have to use your other arm to put it there. Though. Uh, but once it's up there, it's basically effortless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna. Stop the episode here.